Okay, one approach to this question is to solve for x and for y and then find the difference x minus y. However, keep in mind that column A does not require us to find the individual values of x and y. We need only find the value of x minus y. Here's the shortcut. We'll take our two equations here and now we'll subtract the bottom equation from the top equation. So to begin, we have negative 2x minus negative 3x. This gives us x. Next, we have 5y minus 6y, which is equal to negative y. And finally, we have negative 1 minus 5, which is equal to negative 6. So given our two equations, we can now conclude that x minus y equals negative 6. So in column A then, we can now replace x minus y with negative 6. From here, we are comparing negative 6 with negative 5. Since negative 5 is greater than negative 6, the answer here is B.